Hi everybody and welcome to You Can Cook Anything with Bob and JP. I'm Bob. Today we're going backwards to go forwards to go backwards, something like that. You'll see the finished product here today is my Basilea. It's actually my mother's Basilea. So uh, I wanted to recreate a di this dish for you. An onion based meatball stew almost um, and it's one of my favorite all time dishes. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to take you through the whole preparation. And in the end, I'll tell you just how good this came out. So do us a favor. Uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell next to it to get notifications when our new episodes come out. If when you're done, you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget, your comments mean everything to us. Leave a comment, a suggestion. Let me know if you tried this and how it came out. But you know what? I think it's time to get started making Basilea. All right, so here's what we need to get started. One, we're going to need something to cook in. I like to use uh, my Dutch oven, but you can use a slow cooker or even a pan set to low. We need a lot of onions. They're really the star of the dish. Uh, I have red and yellow because that's what I had was red and yellow, so that's what we're using. You don't want less than four. Um, I recommend, if you were kind of put this all together, six really large ones, eight to give you about this much. When I'm done cutting, uh, we'll decide how much that actually is. You need beef to make enough meatballs you want. This is about three and a quarter pounds, three pounds. Um, three cloves of garlic, which we'll peel and throw in there. And for spices, fresh ground black pepper. This happens to be fresh ground allspice. This really isn't necessarily easy to do at home. I happen to have um, this toy. This is a, a grinder, it's made for coffee, but it's called a conical burr grinder, courtesy of my sister Rachel. Love you, Rachel, thank you. I get a lot of use out of this. Uh, one of my most fun and useful tools in the kitchen. Cinnamon, this is fresh ground as well. I just reused the container. And then salt, and we're gonna put it all together. So I'm gonna show you a quick preparation on the onions and then I won't bore you with my weeping through. So what we're looking for is just simple slices. So first we gotta peel it. Um, take the butt off. A couple slices through the edge and we'll get that off. Okay, slices, nothing special. So I'm gonna slice through all these onions and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, let's keep going. crying you're crying I'm gonna clean this up and be right back a few moments later so now we're gonna brown the meatballs I thought maybe I'll show you how this thing gets put together and what it is this is a butane cooktop um, I actually learned about this through some of the other YouTube channels that I watch um, that a, a lot of Asian households use these, especially overseas, because they're small, they're portable, you don't need electricity. Uh, you power them with basically a butane canister. This all goes together in one tiny little thing and goes into its carry case, so you can take it wherever you're going. It's pretty phenomenal, and it's incredibly hot. So you just flip that around. This has a notch in it that goes right on the top, and then there's a locking handle. It pulls the butane in, and you can't, put it away like this. This has to come out. Uh, you close the lid. It even has a self-igniter. Ta-da! Fire. And this doesn't have that incredibly loud fan noise that we got when we tried our uh, induction cooktop. So the nice thing um, about this pan and this cooker 
is this is really heavy and stable, so I don't have to worry about it falling and burning me with hot fat. So we're gonna get this hot, and then we're gonna put the meatballs in, we're gonna let them brown all over, um, then we're gonna throw the entire thing of onions and garlic in, and then we're going to add water, we're gonna season the water, and um, then put on the actual stove to cook, because it takes a little longer than I really wanna use this for. While this was heating up, I got the olive oil and my thermometer gun. All right, we're already there. This thing is amazingly hot. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil to the bottom of the pan, and we're gonna start adding up balls. Don't go bashing them around too much. They're gentle, they're fragile. They need a love and a soft touch. You bash them around, you're gonna just have hamburger meat that's not gonna taste great. And don't move them right away. Give them a second to sear on a side. The whole idea here is to get a little searing going and develop those yummy, dummy flavors that come with them. So. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. You see how they're turning brown? The brown's starting to cut up, come up the side. See that? Okay, time to turn them. All right, let's let them brown a little longer. We'll take you to the next point. Okay, those are good. So now what we're going to do is throw all this in, but kind of easily, because the last thing I need to do is offset the pan dynamics here. All right, those all go in. Next, we're gonna add a bunch of water, just enough to be about an inch over the onions. And we're gonna stir it gently and let it cook. Okay, so we added the onions and the garlic. Then we rose the wa we added water till it was about two inches from the top of the pan. Next, we're gonna add some seasonings to season up that water. We're gonna start with the allspice. I'm gonna use two tablespoons. Mm, that's about a tablespoon, and that's, yeah, that's about right. A tablespoon and a half there. We're going to add cinnamon. That's it, half a teaspoon of that. Tablespoon of salt. Now I gotta put this down for the pepper. Okay, that's two teaspoons of black pepper, ground right out of the grinder. I'm gonna mix this up, I'm gonna put the lid on, I'm gonna actually let it go on high until it boils. Once it boils, I'll turn it down to medium to medium low, because I want to keep a light boil going, almost to, to a simmer, um, and then check on it in about 30 minutes, and we'll meet back up then. Okay, let's take a look. This is 45 minutes later. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Right there, that's beautiful. Gonna take take a spoon and we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, you'll see the onions are really rendered. The whole house smells like when my mother was cooking and she uh, is the person I learned this from. So hi mom, I love you. Thank you for teaching me to make basilia. All right, let's give it a taste and see what it's like. Let's see. So the secret to tasting a dish that you might have to taste more than once is use a bowl, it doesn't have to be this big and a spoon and put what you're tasting in the bowl, then you don't have to go through spoon, spoon, or worse, double dip. Don't, don't double dip, it's nasty. Yeah, it's perfect. I did cheat while you guys weren't watching. I had another tablespoon of salt, uh, and that's a, that was a tablespoon of kosher. So if you're using iodized, it was probably more like a teaspoon and a half because it needed it. But other than that, this, this is done. Uh, I think I've got to taste a meatball though or else I won't be able to tell you what this actually tastes like and if it actually came out good. So let's just see. You know this is an actual TV and that I just took it off the stove, completely burned my face. But, it's perfect. So there it is. 
that is incredibly hot. That is a bowl of delicious basilia. It needs uh, only one other thing if you want to make it, and that's rice. Okay, now that I showed you how pretty it was in the bowl, I'm going to taste it again and see if I can't describe it a little bit to you, uh, especially because it shouldn't be as nuclear now. I mean, the aroma is insane. The allspice and cinnamon and that beefy broth smell, um, and then those onions are just contributing so much to the aroma here. Um, it's, it's like a, a really good French onion soup, but done uh, Lebanese style. Let's see. Yeah, this is a million times better than French onion soup. Um, this is absolutely outstanding. Uh, I think I need to shut off the camera now so I can eat this um, and definitely uh, not embarrass myself as I pig out on Basilea. So thanks for watching the episode and don't forget what JP and I always say. <laughs>